hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here. And today we're back with another <laughs> unboxing. This unboxing is a little bit special. This unboxing is one of the four, count it, four special collection items of Cheryl Burke over at Diamond Art Club. If you didn't already know, Cheryl Burke came out with four diamond paintings through Diamond Art Club. They are called the Cheryl Burke Collection. And uh, I was chosen to be one of the ones that gets to unbox one of them to show you guys. So, of course, I am honored. Thank you, Diamond Art Club, and thank you, Cheryl Burke, for allowing me to unbox this for the folks today. So, are you guys ready to see what it is? I don't think you can handle it. All right, we're going to do a little movie magic to get into this box. Let's drop it out. There we go. All right, so, you guys, we see a blue strip. What does that mean? Do you guys remember? That means it's a square. So all my square lovers, where you at? This is going to be the canvas for you. Also, I noticed, if I believe correctly, this design, it's a big, as you can see, it's a big canvas. But this design, I believe, is a Josephine Wall collection item, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Don't quote me. I'm thinking. Bear with me now. So it's a square. It's a big old box. It's a big one, okay? It's thick with three C's. So... We got to get it out of the plastic first. So I hope you all are having a wonderful, wonderful day. It is a great day to stay inside and craft because it is hot as the Dickens outside. Good God. All right. So get plastic. Get, get out of here. And then we're going to practice safety first. So Josephine Wall. If you know the artist, then you're, you're, you're gasping and holding your breath. If you don't know, you about to find out. All right, now I can't pronounce this. I don't think I know how to pronounce this correctly, so I'm going to try. Please don't hurt me if I mispronounce this. I'm going to say it's Tatiania. Ta Titan Tatania and Oberon. Okay, there's the name of it. Yep, it's a Josephine wall. Yes, look at that. It is a 70 by 98. Holy canvas, you guys. Are you ready to see this? Again, please forgive me for butchering the name. Y'all know Miss Coffee can get her life together one day, but it's just today is not that day. All right, so we're going to um, get all the stuff out of the box. All right, box. So if you didn't know, Diamond Art Club has started adding this little sticker into their kits so that you can put this on the box where when you go to store it away so that you know what's in the box. So say if you put your boxes in the closet like this, you can't necessarily see the picture on the box. So what they've done is they added an extra sticker in so that you can put this on the side or on the bottom, or if you do a, a diamond painting log, you can put this in your log book so that you can keep track of which diamond paintings you have. Don't mind the air conditioner. All right, so there's the sticker there. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so here is our image. Isn't it gorgeous? So we got some fairies and little flying moths and all the beauty mists of this canvas, you guys. How many, how many people want to guess how many colors are in this kit? <laughs> There are 55 colors in this kit. Good God. Harbor Freight, be with you. Okay, so again, it's a 70 by 98 square. Here is your toolkit. In your toolkit, you'll get tweezers, a blue pen, a squishy, a bunch of baggies of, uh, for holding your diamonds after you're done, if you choose to use those baggies, a clear belt with a funnel, and two heart-shaped plates of wax. Do keep in mind that only newer kits... Newer Diamond Hour Clubs come with tweezers. If your kit does not come with tweezers, that means it's an older kit or was packaged older, so it doesn't have tweezers. Don't worry. The newer kits have all tweezers. So, with that said, y'all don't care about no tool kit. Y'all want to see what's up in here. Y'all want to see the main attraction. Y'all want to see this thing that's thicker than a snicker. So, let's get into this canvas. Y'all, this thing about big as my bed. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, 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 God. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was highly inappropriate. Um, why? I'm scared. <laughs> Y'all, there's two bags of baggies or of uh, the diamonds. Good God. Oh my, oh my God. Y'all, I wasn't too sure about this canvas. I'm not going to lie. When I first saw it, I was just like, I don't think that's something that I would diamond paint. But oh my God, y'all. Y'all ain't seen it yet. Y'all ain't seen it yet, okay? Sometimes it takes just seeing a canvas to be like, you know what? It's my thing now. So, let's take a look at this, shall we? Bam! Holy, y'all, it's like a curtain. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys. 
Okay, hold up. This coffee bean a little bit extra. I'm sorry. There's just so much canvas to love. Okay, we're going to do aerial views. So we're going to close your legs here, and we're going to aerial view it. So, here's our bottom. The adorable little fairies at the bottom and the moths. You guys. All right. All right. All right. I see what y'all doing. I see what y'all doing. Absolutely gorgeous. One, love the elf ear. Um, which I'm going to guess she's a butterfly of some sort or some kind of fairy elf type lady. Um, I love the ear only because like I have a pointy ear and I, I'll, yeah, don't, we're not going to go over there. Anyways, oh my God, look at the butterflies and the moths and all the little winged creatures in the picture. Oh my God, look, it's riding a butterfly. Oh, that's so cute. Is that a frog? Y'all, is that, okay, there's a fairy person right there. Is that a frog or is that a bird? I am not familiar with Josephine Walt, okay? Don't, don't come at me, okay? I'm not familiar with her work, but this is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, y'all, look, listen, listen, listen. We're going to get into the business. We're going to check the drill field, okay? Because is this, oh, oh my God, I can't even, it's, it's big, y'all. It's a big one, but big girls need love too. All right, so we're going to put this curtain down. Symbol clarity. We got outstanding symbol clarity as usual. It's Diamond Art Club. Do we expect anything less? Of course not. Diamond Art Club ain't going for all that. Okay, so, yo, if I did this one, if I put away the rainbow unicorn and did this one, because the rainbow unicorn, yeah, we're not going to talk about it, but if I put away your rainbow unicorn and did this one, this will be the biggest square I've ever completed. What do y'all think? Should we work on this one instead of the rainbow unicorn? Ask me for myself. Um, ho Lee moly i need a big diamond painting in my life right now i've been working on smaller ones i need something that's a little bit bigger than a snack size something that's gonna hang tough with me now get, get, get out of here plastic so let's get into these drills so if you're one of those folks that doesn't like the noise of the crinkling plastic please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds or until you see me stop struggling so how was your day all right, so that's one. There's two. So let's see what we got here, folks. Let's see what colors come in this kit. So we got 3371, so it's like a dark chocolate color. 327, we got double trouble there. 336, drill quality. Oh, snap, Diamond Art Club. Y'all doing some improvements to the drill quality? It's looking good in there. I'm not seeing any trash or knobbly bits. Yes. 336. 895. That's like a hunter green almost. Almost. 895 again, so it looks like we have double trouble there. 823, which is that dark blue. Double trouble there. Uh, uh, okay, we're going to spin this around because it's, yeah. Double trouble at 317. That's like jailhouse gray, I think. 38.54, 38.54 again, so we got uh, double trouble there, and we have someone not practicing social distancing, there's always one, there's always one that has to just not participate in everything, 9.05, 3.10, 9.37, there, so that whole string is nothing but doubles right there, that's double trouble, the whole string is double trouble, so what we got here? We got 915. We got Laffy Taffy in the next color, 3731. That's that Laffy Taffy strawberry, y'all. Know what I'm talking about. 647. 3799. 3837. 356. 208. 155. That's like scrambled eggs right there. 3078. That's the fluffy scrambled eggs. You know, the ones you see on the commercial, but you can never get yours to look like that. That's what that is right there. 3348. Eh, eh, AB alert. Oh my goodness. White ABs for our first AB in this kit. So that is number 141 
on your legend here, 141 is going to be number two, which I'm going to guess is sprinkled around. We'll look at that as soon as we're done looking at the drill. But if you are new to diamond painting and don't know what AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that is put onto the drill to make it sparkle just a little bit brighter. It will also reflect the colors of the diamonds right next to it. So it's doing the mostest, okay? It's out here doing its job, okay? So it is working hard for this money. So 141, and if you can't tell, that little rainbow sparkle you see on top of those drills is the AB coating. And as you can see here, these don't have it, so they don't make that sparkle. On the Diamond Art Club kits, any number below 150 is gonna be an AB drill, just to give you a heads up. Um, to work on an AB drill, uh, my best advice would be to use either, use wax that's been in your pen for a while so it's not as clean. Also, uh, make sure that you make sure your wax is full in your pen to use this and don't stab it. You have to very lightly tap it and put it down on the canvas because if you do it any other way, it will take your, your wax out of your pen. You can also use like one of those pretty placers, which is like the wax crown or a wax pencil if you have one and those work just as fine too. Also, when you're done, if it does get a little bit of wax residue on it, take the wax residue and kind of use a toothbrush, like a, a soft bristle toothbrush, not one that you've used already, like personally, but one that you've purchased just to clean your kits off. And it'll actually shine up your drills if you like, you know, brush your drills off a little bit with it. So just a little heads up there. Anyways, 3733, 3607, 3771, 3326. That's like chewed up bubblegum color right there. 720, we got some shredded carrot going on. 165, again, we got that light and fluffy uh, scrambled eggs. 3608, 210, 775. So that's it for that string. Oh, we're going to be here all day with all these strings of diamonds. 890, 939, 797, 797. So we got double trouble there. 550, a big old bag of 950. It's like bursting from the seams. All right, so let's see what other colors we have in this next batch. 333, 471, 414. 414 is double trouble. It also reminds me of 317. They both look like a, the gel house gray. I don't know why gel house gray is in my brain, but 318, even that looks alike. Like those look the same to me. I know they're different, but they look the same to me. 3755. 37.55 again with the uh, double trouble there. 6.44, 6.48, and, and AB alert, 136. Woo, 136 on your legend is gonna be number one. And again, it has that iridescent coating. So this is a purple iridescent coated diamond drill that goes onto the canvas in certain spots to make it sparkle brighter. Yay, oh snap, whoa. We got two big old bags of 136. I'm going to guess there's going to be a lot of 136 in this canvas. So we'll take a look at where they at are on the canvas here in a few minutes. So let's get to these other ones real quick. 820. 820. So double trouble there. This nice purple color. 3860. 334. 3776. Double trouble there. That's like a clay color, like the like clay like you would find outside when you're digging in the dirt. 798, 3855, double trouble there. And our last string of drills, because, you know, three drill strings isn't enough. We got to go for four. We're doing the most is right now. 301, 301, 977, double trouble. The first four drills are double trouble there. For first four bags. 470, 413. 3861, 400, 400, and 898. So those are the colors that are in this kit. What do you guys think? I know a lot of y'all, I, I know just from Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray, a lot of y'all have been talking to Diamond Art Club or wanting Diamond Art Club to do some Josephine walls. So I know a lot of y'all are really happy right now. So let's take a look and see where those AB drills go. So our first AB drill was number 136, which is that purpley blue color. Um, that is number one on your kit. So from the looks of it, it is sprinkled all throughout the gentleman here, all over her dress. Um, it looks like they cut his hand off right there. Like, hold on, I gotta see this picture. Like, it's his hand. Oh, it's underneath the 
flowing of her dress. Of course it is. They're flying. I'm, I'm, y'all don't, Miss Coffee will get her life together. Today is not the day. Okay, so, so it looks like we have some number ones here. Let's see if we have any in the sky up here. And don't worry, if you've never worked on a big canvas like this before, there will be a little picture that comes up or a little eye that pops up up there that is going to show you other videos on how to work on a big canvas, how to diamond paint if you've never diamond painted before, but you're just a huge fan of Cheryl Burke and wanted one of her collection, uh, how to kit up, kit, all, just look in that little eye up there. There'll be a bunch of little other videos you can watch to prepare you for this goodness, okay? Now, this canvas is already out. So I will put up something here that lets you know whether or not it is still available. If it is, get while the getting's good, y'all you know I mean? All right, so 136 is gonna be number one. So scattered all throughout the top here, all in there. And again, the gentleman is gonna have some on his clothes, on, as, as the police say, on his person. And then she also has some on her dress. See, are there any down here? Yep, there's a couple down here. And then the next one is number one, which is 141, which is the number two. So that whole sparkle right there is going to be AB drills. This here is going to be AB drills. Um, you got some AB drills down here on whatever this is, which I think is her wing. This is this character's wing. Um, we got some AB drills here by the butterfly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this canvas is next. So, if you'd like to see me work on this canvas, stay tuned to the next couple of weeks' videos because it'll probably be me working on this canvas because I'm about to kit this up right now. I'm sorry, Unicorn. I have to abandon you because it's, it's it's, this canvas is gorgeous. Anyways, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan at first. When I first saw it, I was just kind of like, eh, that's, that's all right. Like, I saw the picture. And I was like, eh. I didn't get a good look at the picture, apparently, because the canvas is beautiful. Good God. So, um, this is definitely going up in my room, um, cause I don't want the kids to tear it up. So I'm going to put this up in my room and frame it real nice for framing. I probably do a canvas finish on this mostly because canvas finishes are my favorite, like a stretch canvas. And then like, so it just looks like they're just floating through my wall. So that's awesome. So yeah. So if you would like to get this kit, go over to the Diamond Art Club website, but not before stopping by Cheryl Burke's official Facebook and Instagram pages, which I will have linked in the description box of this video. She might be able to get you guys some discounts off of your canvas from her collection. So check out her pages first, and then you can use her link to go over to Diamond Art Club and get your canvases. So what do you guys think? How do you like this image? Is it your cup of tea? Let us know down in the comments section what you think. Again, a huge thank you to Cheryl Burke and Diamond Art Club for presenting this with to me to show to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, please leave those down in the comments section below. And I will try my best to answer what you have to say. So either way, if you're new to the channel and like to see no more random crazy videos just like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime. I randomly decide to put up a video and believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, I really must bid you adieu. Mama life is calling. But not before reminding you to always try to wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Keep your six feet and always try to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.